For many patients with blood diseases, stem cell transplantation offers hope and a chance of cure. Stem cells are factories that sit in the bone marrow and produce the different parts of our blood. Sometimes, patients have diseases that damage those factories, leading to problems. These patients may need a stem cell transplant to get better. When a patient receives a stem cell transplant, the donor's stem cells become new factories and begin producing all the blood cells needed to live. The problem is, patients in need of a transplant can't receive stem cells from just anybody. Everyone's stem cells have a specific label. Think of the various barcode labels at the supermarket. Each type of fruit has a unique barcode label that allows the computer to recognize what kind of fruit it is. Patients in need of a stem cell transplant need to receive stem cells that have the same barcode label as their own. But, because there are millions of varieties of labels, the odds of finding a match are low. Most patients are unable to find the stem cells they need from within their own family. These patients rely on others to register as stem cell donors. If you're between the ages of 17 and 35, you can sign up to become that potential donor, either online or at a stem cell drive. To register as a donor, you'll need to complete a health questionnaire. Next, you'll swab your cheek. The swabs will be packed up and sent to the lab to find out if your cells are a match to a patient in need. There are two ways you could be asked to donate your stem cells, if you happen to be a life-saving match. Most of the time, stem cells can be collected from blood. The donor is first given a medication that increases the number of stem cells in their blood. Then, blood is collected from the donor, run through a sorting machine to filter out some stem cells, and then the rest of the blood is returned to the donor. The stem cells are then used to help the patient in need. The other, less common way that stem cells are collected is directly from bone marrow. Here, the donor is given anesthetic to make them sleep, and then stem cells are collected from the bone marrow in their hip. Each year, over a thousand Canadians are looking for their life-saving match, and they're most likely to find it from within their own ethnic group. Currently, diversity on the donor registry is lacking, so there's a special need for people from all ethnic groups to sign up. Studies have also shown that treatment is most effective when the stem cells come from young, healthy males. For this reason, we are especially looking for young men and ethnically diverse individuals to get swabbed. Registering as a potential stem cell donor might take 15 minutes out of your schedule, but it could mean a lifetime to a patient in need.